Hello, welcome to GPJ for the fifth element. I have to shout because the microphone's crappy, and today we'll be doing answer seven. And that is how big is our territory? Also, somebody asked uh, what year it is, and I just want to say that it's stated in the film the date is shown on Corbin Dallas's alarm clock. So at the beginning, when he's answer, when he's waking up, he's poking the the alarm clock uh, to shut it up, and that is when you see the date. So, and that is 2263. So there you go, 1914, 300 years later, and it's 2263. They wanted to be vague, and I know why. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> the size of the human territory, or the uh, the unified Earth territory, or whatever you want to call it. Is, uh, is stated in the movie, well no, uh, it's wrong, it's not stated in the movie at all, it's actually, uh, I'm guessing the galaxy, or at least, at least like a quadrant of the galaxy, a quadrant is by the way, um, a quarter of the galaxy, um, in Star Trek, I'm not comparing this at all to Star Trek, but in Star Trek they, they say that a quadrant is a quarter of the galaxy and, and basically we've uh, explored up to kind of half the galaxy almost because like even though the Federation territory is only only fits into a bit of a quadrant we've got um, we know that we've explored at least half of the quadrant uh, I mean half of the galaxy by now um, but no in the movie they state that um, it's eating all the commsats in the galaxy, and that's uh, the communication satellites. It's uh, that's the scene where Mr. Shadow is basically um, is pulling in to communicate with people. Is pulling in all of the communication sta satellites in the galaxy. It's possible that they mean known galaxy, uh, but I like to think of it as like the entire broad spectrum. Basically, wherever we've got like communication with any kind of like uh, spacecraft that's unmanned it's pulling it in um, so yeah uh, th uh, that kind of like means that we've explored almost all of the galaxy you know our territory seems to be only a couple of systems wide so and that's based on uh, what I know from the next answer which is where is pla planet Floston and we clearly own planet Floston or at least have a um, recreation colony there so yeah there's there's well, that's the answer to that I am really sorry about the audio quality by the way, um, I know you had to turn the volume up for both, uh, for, for all of the episodes that come out of here, uh, but there's nothing I can really do about that, there's, um, I've got a, I've got a, uh, uh, audio recorder and stuff, um, but it's just not gonna, I don't think it'll cut it. I did think about doing a uh, recording from the other computer but the audio from there is actually very shitty and if I try to manipulate it in any way then it ends up spiking all the time so there's that so sorry that you had to uh, do that um, bouncing on my chair <laughs> uh, yeah I can't think of any other vlog stuff apart from uh, this is turning out to be one of the worst Christmases I've ever had. Um, that I can remember, but whatever. Good news is that I've started my, I've actually started setting up the channel and everything properly. So I'm, I'm keeping positive. You know. So there you go. Seriously, I just noticed on the playback there's, there's a weird light thing happening here. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um, I hope that you haven't been discouraged by all of the crappy audio, and I hope that you keep going for uh, the last question, which is tomorrow's question, and that is, where is Planet Floston? And that's my favourite question, and I did lots of good research for that, and I'm really, really looking forward to answering that one. So stay tuned for tomorrow's answer. Is this whole big thing? <laughs>